Hello and welcome to another Vetro Core AV and today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit special. These are the Topland, <laughs> yeah Topland Auto Cassettes. All 10 of these cassettes cost me 1 yen. Oh yeah, just 1 yen for all 10. Here's the auction page which they were bought from. Yep, as you can see, right there, it says 1 yen. Uh, yes, 10 C60 cassettes for 1 yen. How good they're going to be is <laughs> a mystery. They're probably going to be type zeros, but let's take a look. Okay, so this is how they came packed up, um, just all wrapped up in this like a uh, plastic bag. It's a little barcode on the side there. Got some text and stuff. Yep, it's a brand new set and the barcode right there. So um, let's open these up and find out who makes them and if they're any good. In fact, I'm not sure we'll f we will figure out who makes them because I wouldn't have a clue. All right, so wow, they were wrapped up pretty well. It's uh, the double wrapped. There we go. So let's take a look at these amazingly named Topland cassettes. All right, take a look at that. Okay, well, first thing I can tell you is the plastic on the wrapping feels a little bit cheap, to be honest. I don't know, it feels kind of like this wrapping. It feels the same as the plastic bag. It doesn't feel like, you know, typical cassette wrapping. Anyway, there it is. That's what it looks like. It says cassette tape here, 60 minutes, uh, 30 minutes each side, total 60 minutes, and the top land branded. At the top here, it says clear hard case and it also says it is a title label included it has title labels included all right and the back is well yeah it's plans to come um yeah there's the uh, web address www.topland.co.jp you've got a telephone number there and let's see uh yeah the company is kabushiki gaisha topland so uh topland corporation and let's see if it tells us where the tape is made. China. Yeah, it says right there, made in China. This is gonna be some shit stuff, isn't it? Okay, let's, uh, let's get it open. Well, that's nice. They've given us a little, uh, a little bit of card there to uh, get the uh, packet open. So let's see. Well, there we have it. There's the case, and straight away I can see that this is nasty. Okay, well, first of all, uh, let's take a look at the actual case. The case is scratched to hell. It's all scratched. It's extremely sharp on the corners. I mean, that is proper sharp. Proper sharp there. Um, it's, yeah, that, that looks like it's going to snap. It's made out of the cheapest, nastiest, shitty plastic you can imagine. In fact, look at that. Can you see that? <laughs> it's nasty. Oh man, that is one uh, pretty nasty looking um, case. Okay, there's the J card. It's extremely thin. It feels cheap. Yeah, that's uh, that's 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 not good. And here are the stickers again. They feel a little bit waxy. Um, the blue's not even printed properly on that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's kind of faded. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's nasty stuff. And here's the best bit. I hope you can see this, but can you see how wrinkly that slip sheet is? Can you see that on the camera? I sure hope you can. It, it just looks like it's nasty. It looks like water damage. And the case itself isn't even smooth. It's got warping on it. It's like it's badly molded. Uh, and yeah, the tape pack isn't even wound smoothly. It kind of looks a bit, you know, like it's been uh, spooled up really quickly. Yeah, that's just nasty, nasty shit. Um, <laughs> sorry for the language. Okay, and oh, can you see the spool there? Look at that. Let's see if I can get the pen here. Look at that. It's not even molded properly. That is terrible. Oh man. Okay, let's uh, let's wind this on. Oh, and look at this. Look at the tape leader. Just sticking out like that. Look at that. Awful. Okay, let's wind this junk on. Okay. 
and um, is that winding on straight? That just that just looks awful. All right, and let's take a look at the actual tape stock. Okay, there it is. Hope you can see that. That is, yeah, it, it's a bit shiny, but uh, let's get a closer up look at it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look that smooth either. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't smell of anything. Yeah, so there's the tape stock. Doesn't look too special. Okay. Uh, the case is screwed, mind you. So, you know, that is a good point. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly solid, actually. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm surprised it's fairly solid. But how does it perform? Um, probably not that well. I mean, cheap and nasty, cheap and nasty, cheap and nasty. Probably cheap and nasty. Let's go and put it in the deck and find out. Okay, so let's just plunk it in the deck and get it calibrated up. Okay, so calibration. And let's go. Right. <laughs> that is not looking good, is it? Okay, let's give it some bias. Here we go. Let's get that bias up. All right. Nope. That's it. That's on max bias. All right. Let's get the recording levels done. Yeah, yeah, that's the best one I get. Okay, so I'm gonna do the EQ setting now and I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want you to hear the track that I'm about to play on this thing. So uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so we got this biased up and believe me, it doesn't bias up. This is definitely a type zero. So we got the record level maxed out on minus three. We got the bias level maxed out on minus 20. And we've got the recording EQ maxed out on plus two. And it still sounds like crap. Yeah. Anyway, from uh, this video onwards, I'm recording the sound in a different way. So previously, I used to just connect up the Sony deck to the camera. But, you know, it didn't sound as good as it should have done. So what we're doing now is we are playing the music through this uh, music player. It's got a line out setting. And we're going to be doing a bit of Thunderbird. So I'll go by FAB or was it? What the? Who is Who's this by? Uh, MC Parker, that's it. <laughs> okay, down the beds I go, featuring MC Parker. And uh, hopefully this won't get a contents match because this is actually the B-side mix, which I think is the better version. So, let's get this set up for recording. And let's see how bad this cassette tape actually is. Stand by for action.
you know what that reminds me of? This reminds me of one of these, the TDK AE, the new version. In fact, it sounds pretty much just the same as the TDK AE uh, newer version. So I wonder if these are the same tape stock and they're both made by the same factory in China. Probably not because they're completely different hubs and that's actually got a decent case on it and this one's just completely not that cheap garbage. So yeah, hmm. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but certainly not good. And you know, just looking at that tape pack there, the way that's packed up, I don't feel very confident putting that in my deck anymore. Oh no, it just looks nasty. Let's see how easy it is to break. Oh. Hmm. Not that difficult. <laughs> Something went springing out of it as well. Yeah. Um, actually looks quite, quite nice now, isn't it? We've got a bit of art. Okay. So there you go. There's an, it's no wonder that these were all 1 yen for 10. But then again, 1 yen for 10... Pretty mediocre, no, not even mediocre, pretty bad audio sets. It's still not too bad in the long run, but why would I want to use those when I've got some good sets to use? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you see any of these uh, top land cassettes around your place, don't pick them up, leave them on the shelf. Not that good. Okay, until next time, guys, take it easy and keep on taping. See ya.